guys going? These guys love wrestling. They love training, they love getting better. It's about the journey of where they can become as an athlete, right? So whether you get your hand raised 100 years from now, no one's gonna remember your record. But you're gonna remember the time you put in here and the opportunity you were given um, from Jordan Elvich to get your last senior season for Cameron and Jared, or for, for these guys, getting the extra ability to train so when things do eventually become normal again, they didn't miss out on a whole year of training. So, yes, they don't have sectionals, they don't have a state tournament, but what they are doing, they're getting better. Wrestling with a mask is way harder than previous years, you know. Previous years, it was still hard, but with the mask on, the ability, the lack of ability to breathe better, and it's constricting, and if you wear the wrong mask, it could even be more constricting because of thicker material. So you try to you try to balance that out with training. And it's not gonna be easy. It's really hard and it's very different than before. And it feels kind of weird. It feels like something I shouldn't be doing, but I know I want to do because if we do the right things, we can keep this going. Our first thing is keeping the kids safe. Um, thinking of ways to kind of isolate people. Isolation sounds kind of like a bad thing, but it's, it's keeping the same partners for a week because we do what weekly testing. So whoever you go for this week, that's your partner for this whole week. And then once we get tested, you guys are all clean. You can mingle again. Come over there chasing them around hand sanitizer, temperature checks, daily health screenings. So if you get your mask all bloody, we can just swap it out, keep you clean. This might sting, I don't know. Clean it up good. On your chin. Yeah. Hold this in half and stick it up your nose. I do not want to lose this opportunity, so I am super anal about making sure our masks are in the right places, our hands are sanitized, our temperatures are good. And whatever the protocols are, I'm, I'm going to follow those. And I know every single one of those guys, and they're going to follow it because we know that if we mess up, we lose this, and, and we're not going to allow that to happen. Now I post. I'm more concerned about COVID now because my family members, some of them are at risk. And I understand that I'm going to be staying away from them as much as I can during the season so they don't get infected. This season is a lot different, but it's the same. You know, it's a little bit of normalcy inside of this crazy world we're living in right now. You know, COVID's just something that, you know, we can't just, it's not going to go away in a day. So we're taking these extra precautions. We're wearing the masks. We're washing our hands. We're, you know, making sure everything's disinfected from our shoes to our headgear. Every day when you get home to when you get into the pit, I get out there, it's me versus that guy. It's, you know, he wants to win against me, and when we battle, I always see it, doesn't matter how good he is, doesn't matter how faster than he is, how stronger he is, it's always a 50-50 shot. 50% chance I'll win, 50% chance I'll lose.